Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will try to understand how exactly is silk processed? What do we do? How do we take care of silkworms? How do we get the silk from the silkworms? So sericulture is the name given to the process of rearing of silkworms. Like how we do rearing of sheep where we feed them properly, take care of them properly. In a similar way, we also rear silkworms because they, they give us something which is valuable to us. So how do we... Uh, take care of the silkworms we so how do we take care of the silkworms so the first thing that has to be done is proper storage of eggs because see that's where the life cycle starts so if the eggs are stored properly only then we get proper silkworms only we then we get proper silk so how do we store the eggs when i say proper storage i mean that they should be stored at warm temperature and proper hygiene so that silkworms can be hatched from the eggs. So how is it exactly done? I mean, if you talk about the accurate process of uh, rearing, how it happens. So you can look at this picture. You have big trays and these trays are made up of bamboo. So the bamboo trays with some leaves, mostly mulberry leaves, because right now I am only talking about the mulberry silkworms, those silkworms which feed on the mulberry leaves. And, and in fact, these type of silkworms are one of the most common type of silkworm. So on this bamboo uh, tray, we keep some mulberry leaves so that once the uh, eggs uh, hatch, I mean once the eggs are hatched and they become silkworms, then the silkworms can feed on those leaves. So that arrangement is done. Next, maintaining hygiene that is again extremely important because without maintaining proper hygiene, uh, I mean, there are chances that maybe the silkworms will not get hatched or the silkworms will not be healthy. So in that case, also, we do not, we cannot expect that proteins, proper proteins will get secreted from that silkworm. So maintaining hygiene is very important in any kind of uh, uh, environment. So whether we take care of any type of animal or bird, hygiene maintenance is very, very important. Favorable temperature and humidity. Again, if the temperature becomes too low or too high, it uh, might affect the hatching of the eggs. It might affect the survival of the silkworms. So temperature and humidity should be optimum. So if you look at this picture, you can see that the people are preparing twig frames. So you see here, these are the twig frames. So these frames are being prepared where silkworm will spin their cocoon because what do we want? We are interested in the cocoons of the silkworms. So once the silkworm grows and become an adult moth, we just want to get all the cocoons. So that is why we have prepared this twig tree so that all the cocoons get attached to this twig. twig. And later we can just uh, take these twig frames with all the cocoons. And that's how we can obtain silk from them. So that, that is the main idea and that is why this type of arrangement is done. So that's one thing. Secondly, the silkworm need to be provided with enough leaves so that they can feed on the leaves and once they grow, they will start waving the net. Now the net is being woven again, the same thing as I said, the silkworms will move in this pattern and that is how their secretions will keep forming the net like structures. So that net like structure will be formed on the twig frames which are being arranged here and once the silkworm grows further and gets detached from the cocoons so all the cocoons will be obtained on this twig frame so that is the basic uh, concept or that is basically how sericulture is being done now the question is how is silk processed how do we process the silk after this now once this is done, the cocoons which are obtained, they are then weighed. So you see, you obtained all the cocoons. So you just have the cocoons now, you, you don't have to deal with the silkworms now. So with these cocoons, what do you do? The silk fibers are taken out from the cocoon. So the cocoon is made up of those thin fibers, the thin secretions which have hardened due to exposure of air. So those silk fibers are now taken out and now these silk fibers are again like how you had wool fibers. Similarly, these are also thin thread like structures. So all those uh, things are taken out. So as you can see in this picture, this process of taking out silk fibers from the cocoon is known as reeling of silk. 
So what do you do in this? The cocoon is being exposed to the sun or the cocoon is being exposed to steam or water vapor. And what happens? The fibers tend to separate and that's how you get separate individual uh, silk fibers, individual thread like structures by exposing the cocoon to a little bit of high temperature either in the form of sun or in the form of water vapor. Now once you get the silk fibers you are like almost done. Then these silk fibers are then woven to form the silk threads. Now once you have the silk threads I think then you all know what happens. The silk threads are then again woven to form the silk cloth. Now once you have the silk cloth that's it. Now you can make, you can just go to the tailor and get it dressed for a uh, suit or for a dress or for a sari. So that's how silk is obtained from silk worm. So you see uh, these type of natural, uh, these type of fabrics which when we go to a shop we feel that they are so expensive. So now just look at the process behind obtaining them, behind bringing them to the shop. So it involves a lot of effort, it involves a lot of time and that is why natural fibers are a lot more expensive when compared to artificial fibers. Now here we have not discussed about artificial fibers but however in uh, your class 8 we are going to talk about the artificial fibers also in detail for example nylon polyester so what are they and how do we uh, prepare them so all those things we will thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again